Welcome back guys, the first stable release of SteamOS is now available in the form of version 3.6.19 Released just a few hours ago for both SteamOS OLED and LCD variants, I own the latter Currently, my Steam Deck is running on the beta build of this SteamOS version In this video, I will be showing you the update process This new build includes tons of new features, fixes and improvements over SteamOS 3.5 It was in the beta phase for a good amount of time, most of the bugs have been ironed out this is the build's update log, I'll provide it in the description of the video. I'll try to highlight some of its new features. General improvements, updated to a more recent Arc Linux base and updated Linux kernel to version 6.5. These updates improve hardware compatibility, system performance, security and overall system stability. Improved speed of subsequent operating system updates, improve reliability of certain micro SD card uses scenarios. On my Steam Deck, I have never faced any issues with my SD cards. I have used Samsung and Amazon Basics SD card A2 rated. Fixed a general issue affecting OLED units on SteamOS 3.5 causing a slow memory leak during gameplay. Fixed the frame limiter not properly applying in certain situations. Fixed color space for game recording. You can record your gameplays using SteamOS itself. Don't need to use any third party tool. Fixed an issue with the rear session crash during early startup of Elden Ring. Graphics and performance improvements Updated graphics driver to Mesa 24.1 with many performance and other improvements in general This should help in improving the performance in many titles especially the new ones It should also help in fixing some graphical artifacts For example, if you run Alan Wake Part 2 on SteamOS 3.5 that has the outdated version of Mesa GPU driver It will exhibit a lot of visual graphical artifacts In some cases, textures won't be rendered at all in order to fix these graphical artifacts, on SteamOS 3.5, I was using a custom Mesa GPU driver. It's not required now after updating to SteamOS 3.6, all thanks to the latest Mesa GPU driver. Next feature, improved responsiveness of Steam UI, self-explanatory, improved performance and stability in memory pressure situations. There is a big change in memory management between SteamOS version 3.5 and 3.6. 3.5 uses a swap file with a default size of 1 GB which was not enough to prevent crashing issues in many memory hungry games. You must have experienced crashing issues in games like Jedi Survivor, God of War 2018. I think Red Dead Redemption 2 was another title that exhibited this crashing issue due to deck running out of memory. However, this crashing issue should not be present on SteamOS 3.6 as it uses ZRAM instead of swap. ZRAM is basically a RAM disk that is used for storing temporary files and as a swap device while swap is a memory management technique that moves data between main and secondary memory ZRAM is faster than swap it should also help in reducing stuttering in some memory hungry games after updating to the latest SteamOS 3.6 build I'll show you the size of ZRAM next feature slightly improved cold boot time then we have the display section improved display uniformity under some conditions Mura compensation. Fixed rare situations where switching to desktop mode or back could result in a blank screen or wrong colors. I have faced this issue. Good to see it has been resolved by well. Fix certain specific refresh rates failing to apply on the OLED limited edition model. Next we have external display fixes. Fix several issues where an external display could remain blank after resuming. Improve frame pacing with variable refresh rate on external displays. Bluetooth fixes, improved connection speed of some Bluetooth devices, fixed an issue where Bluetooth peripherals would disconnect on session switch. Next we have some interesting new input features, added support for extra raw ally keys. I think the support is for allies, command center and army crate buttons. These are the two buttons that flank allies display. We do know that SteamOS is coming to raw ally soon, I don't have the exact release date. Added support for some third party controllers. Fixed calibration on some third party DualShock 4 controllers. Desktop mode fixes. Updated to KDE Plasma version 5.27.10. This is KDE Plasma desktop environment. Basically the desktop mode of SteamOS. Fixed an issue with desktop use that could cause subsequent micro SD card auto mount to fail. BIOS and firmware updates. This is for Steam Deck OLED and its support for the Windows Bluetooth driver. LCD models already have Windows Bluetooth support. Yeah, this is correct. I have Windows installed on my Steam Deck as well. Bluetooth works just fine on it. Steam Deck LCD only improve battery life by up to 10% in light load situations. 
I think this is for situations like scrolling through SteamOS gaming mode's interface, browsing the internet in SteamOS desktop mode, added overclocking controls. I'll be checking out these controls in SteamOS BIOS. We'll be undervolting the SOC and overclock the CPU and GPU. Some fixes for Steam Deck docking station. For my Steam Deck, I just use JSOC dock. HP0603 works very nicely. I've been using it for almost one and a half years now. Didn't face any problems. It's even compatible with my ROG Ally. Updated dock firmware with compatibility fixes for high refresh rate, VRR displays, and fixing several issues where displays could remain blank. Last but not least, we have these development and modding fixes. No idea what they are. So now I'll be updating my Steam Deck and just switch to SteamOS Gaming Mode. I'll show you the system settings before updating. Just tap on Steam button here, Menu, Settings, System. I'm on the beta channel. SteamOS version 3.6.19, Kernel version 6.5, BIOS version F7A0131, GPU driver version MESA 24.0.5. These values will be completely different for you if you are on SteamOS version 3.5. I have set the UMI buffer size to 4 GB. This value will get reset if the BIO gets updated. Change system update channel to stable. Restart. An update is getting downloaded. Just wait for the process to complete. The device restarted. It didn't take too long on my Steam Deck as it was already on the beta build of SteamOS 3.6.19. Show you the system settings. System update channel stable. SteamOS version 3.6.19. OS build. Kernel version 6.5. BIOS version. Didn't change F7A0131. This is for Steam Deck LCD variant. For OLED variant, the BIOS version may be different. GPU driver. Okay, this is interesting. Here it's mentioned Mesa version 24.0.5. In the update log, it was mentioned that Mesa driver was updated to version 24.1. Now I'll show you the size of ZRAM. Just switch to SteamOS desktop mode. And just click on Steam icon here. Type KDE. Click on KDE Partition Manager. Refresh Devices. Permission is required. Enter your password. There's the ZRAM buffer. Its size is around 5.7 GB. This won't be present on SteamOS 3.5 exclusive to SteamOS 3.6 now I'll be undervolting the SOC we'll be overclocking the GPU and the CPU just switch off Steam Deck access its BIOS menu now just press and hold the power and up volume buttons release the power button when you hear a sound but keep holding the up volume button there's the boot menu select setup utility go to the advanced section Scroll down. From here you can change the UMI buffer size setting. I have set it to 4 GB. Power control. It is set to auto by default. If you select the manual option, you will have access to fast PPT limit and slow PPT limit. Unfortunately, the maximum TDP value for the APU is still limited to 15 watts. It makes the entire undervolting and overclocking process not very effective on Steam Deck. Values. Limit. 10,000 milliwatt to 15,000 milliwatt can't go higher than 15 watts I'll just set these values to auto CPU voltage offset selected these are the different options available range is from 0 to minus 50 millivolts I'll select minus 20 same thing for GPU and SOC voltage offset minus 20 millivolt here you go the default maximum clock speed Value for the CPU is 3.5 GHz. It can be changed using this setting. CCLK Fmax Override Control. It is set to auto by default. Just select manual. Then select this option CCLK Fmax Override. Input number. This is the range 0 to 4200 MHz. Using Steam Deck trackpad. Select this bar. Enter the value. I'll just set it to 3900 MHz. There you go. Select enter. Select yes. CPU has been overclocked. The default maximum clock speed for the GPU is 1.6 GHz. Change GPU's clock speed using this option. 
जी एफ एक्स सी एल के एफ मैक्स और राइट कंट्रोल सेट इट टू मैनुअल स्क्रॉल डाउन सेलेक्ट द नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन जी एफ एक्स एल सी के एफ मैक्स ओवर राइट एंड द वैल्यू रेंज इज फ्रॉम जीरो टू ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड मेगा हर्ट्स आई एल जस्ट सेट द वैल्यू टू नाइनटीन हंड्रेड मेगा हर्ट्स एंटर दैट्स इट यू हैव ओ क्लॉक बोथ सी क्यू एंड जी क्यू ना जस्ट प्रेस टीम टेक्स सिलेक्ट बटन और जस्ट क्लिक ऑन सेव एंड एक्सिट है connected my cosmic bytes to laris game pad to steam deck via bluetooth mode i'll just run the epic games version of alan wake 2 it's very demanding on both cpu and gpu performance qam settings all level set to 3 frame limit set to 60 that's it dear in yeah here cpu clock speed value is around 3.5 gigahertz this is the default maximum cpu clock speed value I had changed this value to 3900 megahertz via SteamOS BIOS menu, but it did not work as you can see. Clock speed won't go higher than 3500 megahertz. In this sequence, we are not hitting the GPU bottleneck. CPU is the limiting factor, it seems. You can see the power draw for it around 8.8 watts. Power draw for GPU around 4 to 5 watts. I'll be testing a very demanding title, Silent Hill 2 now. Demanding on the GPU. This game was updated recently. The new update helped in improving the game's performance. Same QAM settings, only level set to three, frame limit 60. That's it. This game now supports FSR 3 frame generation. I'm using FSR 3.1 upscaler using its performance preset, graphics preset loop, ray tracing of 800p resolution. There is change. Keep an eye on the GPU clock speed value. Yeah, it exceeded 1600 megahertz again. So the clock speed for the GPU work didn't work for the CPU. This game still has some performance issues in the FX 12 mode. I'm expecting a few hitches. Oh my God, look at this thing charging towards me. Unfortunately. Game recording feature is not present in the stable build of SteamOS version 3.6.19. If you want to record your gameplay, you need to switch to the beta version settings. Game recording setting is usually present under storage setting. It's not available here. I'm not sure why. I hope it gets added to the stable version soon. So that's it with the video guys I hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day